This video is an overview of Midmark M9 and M11 steam sterilizers operation. Always refer to the appropriate technical documentation for the complete list of instructions, safety alerts, and sequence of procedures before conducting any service or maintenance operations. Before operating your steam sterilizer, here are some things to keep in mind before operating your sterilizer. Do not use your Midmark steam sterilizer to sterilize volatile substances or for any purpose other than its intended use. Burns and toxic or explosive conditions could result. Do not force the sterilizer door handle at any time. Chamber pressure may cause the door to open with extreme force. If the door handle does not move freely, allow the unit to cool and depressurize for 40 minutes before opening the door. Failure to adhere to these guidelines could result in serious personal injury. Do not run the sterilizer without the tray plate in place. If the sterilizer malfunctions, unplug it and call for service. Do not attempt to repair the sterilizer yourself. Doing so could result in serious injury. For optimal performance, allow the sterilizer to reach room temperature before operating. Understanding your steam sterilizer's controls and user interface. The sterilizer controls and indicators shown in this and the following illustrations and tables describe the function of each control and indicator. The menu icon in the top left corner of the screen provides access to all menu items. The notification center icon is located in the top right corner of the screen. A red dot indicates you have an active notification. The left and right arrows allow you to scroll through the sterilizer cycles. The cycle option icons allow you to select the appropriate cycle for the load you are processing. The sterilizer name, as well as the date, time, and number of completed cycles are displayed across the bottom of the screen. Additional menus. Pressing the menu items icon will give you access to the following information, menus and settings. Select the routine care icon for information pertaining to routine care and sterilizer status. The cycle history icon displays cycle history information. The settings icon provides access to the settings menu. The help menu icon provides access to available help topics. Cycle history screen. The cycle history screen allows you to view the cycle history including date, time, cycle type, status, and cycle number. The scroll bar on the right of the screen allows you to scroll through cycle history information and view cycle status. The status icon indicates there is additional information required for the cycle. The checkmark icon indicates the cycle was completed successfully. The status error icon indicates the cycle was interrupted. The right arrow icon allows you to access detailed information, such as the cycle summary, chemical indicator, and details of the cycle. Settings menu. Within the settings menu, there are three main tabs across the top of the screen, general, cycles, and system. Navigating through these tabs will provide access to information and modifying device settings. Refer to the tables in the settings section of the setup and user guide for more information. Filling your steam sterilizer. To fill your steam sterilizer, open the door to the sterilizer. Pour distilled water into the fill opening until the water level reaches the top of the fill level label on the water level indicator tube. Standard cycle operation. To operate a standard cycle, select a cycle or use the right arrow on the main screen to locate the additional cycles. Refer to the standard cycle parameters chart for sterilization time and temperature specifications to match with instrument instructions for use. Dry time can be adjusted from 5 to 60 minutes in 1 minute increments. Once you have the cycle parameters set, press start. Select the user, enter the pin, and press start again. The sterilizer will progress through the following stages. Filling, heating, sterilizing, venting, door opening, drying, cycle complete, 
and cycle summary. As the cycle progresses, the light bar will move to the right. The current temperature and pressure in the chamber will be displayed. A timed countdown will start in the sterilization stage and continue until the cycle and drying are complete. Once the cycle is complete, review cycle information, then select Next, select Pass, or Fail for the chemical indicator. Select Dry or Wet for the contents condition. After sterilization is complete, all items must be handled in accordance with accepted and documented standards, as well as any local requirements that may apply. Qualified personnel responsible for infection prevention should prepare a protocol for handling sterilized items. This protocol should be followed by all personnel responsible for handling sterilized items. Custom Cycle Operation The custom cycle can be used for custom applications that are not covered by standard cycles. These cycles have not been FDA cleared for medical use. The custom cycle allows the cycle parameters to be adjusted or changed to follow instrument manufacturer's instructions that are outside of mid-mark standard cycle parameters. Once a custom cycle has been saved, it will appear in the main cycles menu and can be used by scrolling to it and selecting it. Settings within these custom cycles may be changed with options to save as a new preset or update the preset. Once a custom cycle is started, the sterilizer will progress through the same basic stages of sterilization as a standard cycle. Custom cycles are provided for those applications requiring sterilization parameters that differ from the preset cycles. These cycles are not FDA cleared for medical use. All material processed in these cycles must be validated by the user to ensure the sterility of the processed load. For more detailed information about your sterilizer, refer to the Midmark Steam Sterilizer Setup and User Guide. For further assistance, contact Midmark Support Services at 1-800-MIDMARK.